um, there was a decree it was destroyed twice okay it was destroyed here in 70 AD that was the last time I believe but it was destroyed before that as well and a decree went forth in 457 BC, BC to restore it for the first time and there were 70 periods of seven from then until the until Jesus the time of Jesus and this right here is just a question um, nobody really knows but we all pretty much agree this was when Jesus um, lived around this time so in Daniel 9 24 it says there will be 70 periods of seven between the decree and the anointing of the most holy and we've seen that fulfilled Daniel 9 25 is saying something else now it's talking about the second fulfillment of this scripture because there's more than one fulfillment of these scriptures know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem so there was another fulfillment in 1947 when the United Nations partitioned Palestine and created the state of Israel so unto Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks if we click on this word we notice that there are several definitions for this word but for this one I'm going to use this definition right here it's a singular term of seven singular so there shall be seven seven so it's not seven sevens seven sevens would be seven times seven but this is a singular of that word so it would be instead of seven times seven it would be seven plus seven so let's go ahead and calculate from 1947 plus seven plus seven equals 1961 which is the year that Obama was born and three score and two weeks so one score is 20 and three score is 60 so 20 40 60 two. so 62 weeks and for this one we're going to use the definition of feast of weeks so this is a Jewish holiday of which there are one per year so there is one feast of weeks per year so when it says 62 feasts of weeks it's saying 62 years it's basically the same thing so 7-7 seven, seven, from 1947 until Messiah the Prince shall be 7-7 seven, seven, 1961 the year of Obama's birth and 62 feasts of weeks or 62 years so from 1947 plus 62 is 2009 which is the year that Obama was inaugurated as the President of the United States so 7-7 seven, seven and 62 so 7-7 seven, seven, he was born and 62 he became president and after 62 years shall Messiah be cut off okay cut off can also mean cut or make a covenant so after 62 years Messiah shall cut or make a covenant but not for himself and the people of the Prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary the sanctuary is not necessarily the temple in Jerusalem the Jewish temple in Jerusalem it can mean of places of things or it can just mean a hallowed place or a consecrated place so a hallowed place hallowed ground okay so he shall des destroy the hallowed place and the end of shall, shall be with the flood okay and he shall confirm the covenant so this is not necessarily a covenant with Israel and it is not necessarily a um, public covenant it is an alliance a pledge a league um, but it doesn't that doesn't mean that you and I know about it it could be a secret 
alliance. So, but he shall confirm the alliance with many for one week. So for this definition of this word, we're going to use a period of seven years. So he shall confirm this covenant, whatever it is, for a period for one period of seven years. And in the midst of the seven years, he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease. So this sacrifice does not necessarily mean that the Jewish temple has been rebuilt and they are sacrificing animals. This could mean sacrifices of righteousness or strife. Um, it could mean the Passover, which is a Jewish holiday, or it could just mean a thank offering. So whatever that is, whether it's the Passover or a thank offering or sacrifice of righteousness, he will cause it to cease. And this word right here can mean a gift or a tribute or an offering or a present, a gift or a present. So he would cause the gift or the present to cease or the tribute to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate. So here's the next verse. And arms shall stand on his part. So political and military forces shall stand on his part. And they shall pollute the sanctuary. Again, this is a hallowed place. It could be any hallowed place. He shall pollute the hallowed sanctuary or, this is another word, fortress. The hallowed fortress or stronghold. So this does not necessarily mean that we're talking about Israel. They shall pollute the hallowed fortress and shall take away. Now this right here, one of the definitions for this is depose. And depose means not only to remove, but it also can mean to testify or give evidence on oath. So when it says take away, it could be saying take oath. So they shall cause the hallowed, shall pollute the hallowed fortress and shall take oath the daily. And the daily, one of the definitions for that is continual employment. If you have continual employment, nowadays we would call that your job or your position of employment. So, and shall take oath the position of employment, and they shall place the abomination, or this word right here can also mean idol, and they shall place the idol that maketh desolate, or, in other words, this word can mean horror causer. So they shall place the idol that maketh horror, or terror because terror is another word for horror so and political and military forces shall stand on his part and they shall pollute the hallowed fortress and shall take oath the position of employment and shall place the idol that maketh terror now this is one translation of this and I'm going to show you how it was fulfilled and from the time that the position of employment shall be taken oath, and the idol that maketh terror set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. We know that the position of president was taken oath on January 20th, 2009 by Obama. Twelve hundred and ninety days after that is August 2nd, 2012. On August 2nd, 2012, right here. The beam that President Obama signed was installed in the One World Trade Center, the idol of terror, the shrine. This was fulfilled on August 2nd, 2012. And the next verse says, Blessed is he that waits and comes to the 1335 days. This was the Feast of Trumpets 2012, the Jewish New Year. 
So these were fulfilled. They were fulfilled. All of these some of these I've proved in other videos. You'll have to go back. But these scriptures and these events have been fulfilled already. Second Thessalonians 2 Thessalonians 2.4 Who opposeth and exalt himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. This word right here, God, does not necessarily mean the God of Jacob. It also can mean a deity. Okay? And this word here, temple, does not necessarily mean the Jewish temple in Jerusalem. Notice down here, it says, any heathen temple or shrine. Shrine. Akhenaten. Okay. Or anything that is worshipped. Okay. Any shrine. Any deity. Any shrine. Okay. I'm going to leave you with this um, speech that Obama made on September 11th, the 10 year anniversary of the Twin Tower tragedy and he reads from Psalm 46 make up your own mind and and please if you disagree with this feel free to comment but anyone who is commenting with hatred or accusations will be blocked from my channel be still and know that I am God I will be exalted among the nations I will be exalted in the earth the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge.